Be nice weather this weekend. <laughs> it should be okay. I do think that we're going to have some cool temperatures, so that's nice. We may not have the bright sunny skies that we had out in Mount Airy today, but I know there'll be a lot of bright smiles out there. And thanks for, of course, joining in the cause. Weather headlines for us in the coming days, sunny and warm. Yeah, we're going to get back into the low 80s, I think, for the next couple of afternoons. Clouds coming in in the latter half of the week. Rain possible, too. And we are tracking Francine. As a matter of fact, you see that stalled out front just to our south. That's the reason we are so nice. But you can also see what is Francine there to the south. We'll talk more about her in just a minute. Meanwhile, we've got clear skies overhead and we have temperatures that are dropping so quickly. We're already in the 50s in a number of locations, 57 in Jefferson, as well as Stewart Martinsville at 55, low 60s in Asheboro, Lexington, 63 in High Point and Winston Salem. Our morning temperatures will be very close to where they were this morning, so you might need a light jacket or long sleeves. You've got 55 in the morning. Lunchtime is nice in the 70s and then a high of 83 tomorrow afternoon. It's a dry, sunny Tuesday for you in the foothills, too, with a high of 82, a cool morning in the low 50s. And in the mountains, we've got a nice day for you. Sunshine with temperatures in the mid 70s. Definitely chilly in the morning with temps in the 40s. One thing that may be bothering you out there if you are allergic to ragweed. Those counts are high. In fact, about 70% of the pollen count today was attributed to ragweed. So kind of in that medium range expected to stay there and no real rain in our immediate forecast. Another season that we're in the middle of is the tropical season. As a matter of fact, tomorrow marks the actual peak of the tropical season. So we usually see a lot of storms, especially the remainder of September through October. And we are continuing to predict a above normal season, even though it's been a little bit slow lately. We're still anticipating four to seven major hurricanes. We've had one so far and six named storms, and that, of course, is Francine tropical storm this morning. We're also keeping an eye out for the possibility of Gordon to form out over the Atlantic. We'll talk about that in just a second. But Francine has 65 mile per hour wind, so it hasn't strengthened since the earlier update this afternoon, but it does continue to kind of move in that north northwestern direction. It's slowed down a little bit, about five miles an hour right now. Quite a bit of rain with it, so that's one of the threats. There'll be some flash flood storm surge, damaging winds. So you can already see some of the rain real close to the coastlines of Texas as well as Louisiana. Tropical storm warnings are out for the Texas and Louisiana coast. We also have a hurricane warning that is out for a large part of the Louisiana coast, and that is because the storm system is expected to become a hurricane in the next 24 hours. In fact, maybe even by daybreak tomorrow and then potentially becoming a category two storm by Wednesday morning and then approaching the coast of Louisiana or Texas by Wednesday evening and then working its way up the Mississippi River. Now it's going to be far to our west, but that attending front is going to sort of lift to the north. So that may impact our weather a little bit with gray skies coming up Thursday into Friday. We're going to try to get some moisture to kind of sneak in here. So at least a few showers are in the forecast for Friday and even into Saturday, looking for a little bit of rain in our area as well. So you're going to see that represented here on our seven day forecast. Any shift in the track, of course, could change that we forecast. We do have gray skies right now and temperatures that are cooler.